Look at this. <laughs> you can see where they get that name, Click Beetle. It's like a little jumping bean. Look at that. That's that's some that's some height there. <laughs> Buy the brand new merch and keep on supporting us so we can bring you the content that you guys would like to see. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm on the hunt for a very unique kind of beetle. Now, today I am looking for eyed click beetles. These are massive click beetles. If you don't know why they're called click beetles, hopefully you'll see why in this video. And I'm hoping that we can check around this beautiful deciduous wood and possibly run into one or multiple individuals. Also, brand new merchandise. Check out this, Pepsis Formosa with the Jack's Little Wildlife logo on the back. Be sure to get yours. They're in the description below. Should be advertised down there. So, without further ado, Let's get into it and let's see if we can find some eyed click beetles. Okay, I think I've just spotted exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna try and get over there. I think that's what I want. Oh man. mother of all click beetles. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this! <laughs> you can see where they get that name, click beetle. So this is a beetle that belongs to a group called Elateridae, which are the click beetles, and they have this cool defense mechanism where they lock their thorax into place and then pop it out, and it can allow them to kind of shoot upwards into the air. This, I believe, is a Texas eyed click beetle. You can see where they get that name, eyed click beetle. Whoa, this is a huge female. Let me see if I can see any more on this tree. I was just walking along and I was scanning these trees for anything interesting. And luckily I spotted her from so far away because the Texas click beetle oftentimes can be a little darker, not quite as bold, white and black. I don't see anything else. So let's move back onto the trail. Be a little easier to film. Now these interesting beetles, this is a really, really big one. Just some of the largest click beetles that we have in North America. Now let's see if we can observe this interesting defense mechanism. See that? <laughs> it's like a little jumping bean. Look at that. That's that's some that's some height there. <laughs> How interesting is that? Now that's a little interesting mechanism to try and startle predators. So they're supposed to go, whoa, 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 that's pretty crazy. We're not gonna mess with that. And then two, they have those beautiful eye spots to help try and intimidate and scare away those predators. Now what's super cool about these is that they don't feed on decaying wood and fungus like a lot of other beetle larvae. As larvae, these beetles are predatory and they feed on the larvae of other beetle species. So oftentimes, these are feeding on all sorts of stuff. Hercules beetle larva, best beetles, all sorts of things. And they look kind of like a giant superworm. Uh, they can be really, really hefty and big, of course, because this is a large click beetle. But take a look at that. Oh, I don't want her to bite me because she has sharp mandibles as an adult. Now these big eyed clicks are in the genus Alaus. And I'm pretty sure that this is a Texas eyed click beetle. Uh, we actually, I'm actually in the intergrade, so the kind of crossover of this species and the Eastern eyed click beetle. Um, but just judging on the kind of patterns and exactly what type of forest we're in, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is a Texas eyed click beetle. And I'm gonna see if she can kind of calm down. Maybe she will poke out those antenna and those legs. Come on, it's okay. I'm not gonna eat you. Come on. 
take a look at that little face there, folks. Wow, what a cool little insect. Now this is a big, big click beetle. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Wow, what an interesting little creature. This is exactly what I was looking for. Um, these are really only active for about a month or two of the year. And so it's critical that when they are active, I get out and try and find them. And I'm hoping, oh man, I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes. I'm hoping that she'll kind of relax those legs and start to kind of get more comfortable. Because what an interesting little creature. Once again, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful patterning. More kind of cream and black as opposed to the white and black that primarily dominates the eastern eyed click beetle. Wow. Oh my gosh. There is there's a pseudoscorpion on it. What? Oh my gosh, it's like tucked away in the elytra. There's plenty, okay, I'm gonna talk about that. That's cool. Um, so folks, I've just witnessed a little pseudoscorpion crawling on this click beetle, and that's actually kind of common for many species of beetles, as beetles suffer from mites fairly often. So these pseudoscorpions will kind of hitch a ride in the elytra, the wing coverings of these beetles and snack on those parasitic mites that might be bothering these beautiful little creatures. How cool is that? Well, we got some really cool shots and I hope you guys learned some cool stuff about these interesting little click beetles. So we're gonna let this little female get back to doing whatever she was doing, maybe laying eggs for the next generation of these awesome little click beetles. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything else. Buy the brand new merch and keep on supporting us so we can bring you the content that you guys would like to see. So thank you very much. Our lovely little clip beetle. Oh, so cool. Woo!